don't get caught up so concerned about food that everything for you is about food until you know whether it's something you can't eat something you can't eat until it's an illness until you're so focused on like oh yeah you know gluten's a boogeyman or whatever else I'm just gonna talk to my people okay my son you should eat everything I say you should eat everything now, what I mean in the context of the Pivot Protocol, what I mean when I say you should eat everything is you should eat everything. You should, not, you should most of all not have hang-ups about food. I'm going to come back to that in a second. But are there foods that you shouldn't eat? Yeah, of course. But that doesn't mean you don't eat everything. And partly what I mean by that is don't get caught up so concerned about food that everything for you is about food until... You know, whether it's something you can't eat, something you can't eat, until it's an illness, until you're so focused on like, oh yeah, you know, gluten's a boogeyman or whatever else. You should have a good attitude about eating. Like, eat in the proper frame of mind. Okay, well, what is a proper frame of mind? Well, one of the parts of a proper frame of mind is to be super, super grateful. And that's, in some ways, the antithesis of, oh... You know, tell me what foods to eat. I heard this diet is great. I should only eat blah, blah, blah. I should, you know, meat is the best diet or, you know, vegetarianism is the best diet. And on and on and on. No, the best diet is the one that's best for you at the time that you have it. That's what you're learning here. You're figuring out how to, okay, it's not the food. It's not the supplement, right? It's not, that's not how you get to the bottom of digestive illness. You get there by learning what your symptoms are and what they mean. What I teach you in this program, in medicine, it's called right, physiology or pathophysiology. Here's your symptoms in a way that makes sense. I'm explaining the mechanism inside your body that's giving rise to dizziness when you stand up, sweet cravings, teeth marks on your tongue, etc. Like muscle aches, phlegm in the back of your throat, boom, boom, boom. Like all the way down the list, like this is what's causing that. And that's what you get over and over. I go, I go to real lengths to explain that over and over, every time I speak, every video is explaining, but if you understand your symptoms this way, and here's what's likely causing them, and we can test, is it this or is it this? And, and we know exactly what's causing what. And so you might describe the, the journey of really mastering the pivot, pro, mastering your pivot, is this ability to just, you're so, you're so in tune with what you can and can't eat, what you should and shouldn't eat, you know exactly what, you, you've done this so, it's so effortless for you, right? that your food is medicine and your food really, right, every time you're eating, it's like, whoa, you know, you're, you're literally getting healthier, right, well, which sounds like a weird thing, right, because we're all aging, it's like, yeah, but you can get stronger year after year after year if you really know and you really, really focus and set your compass heading to what are your symptoms, what do they mean, how do you counteract them, it's so simple, it's so simple, I think people overlook it, you can, like, it can't be, there can't be a way to do that. No, there is, right? That's what I discovered. That's the pivot protocol. You should be able to eat everything because you're not focused on one food is the best. I can't have that. Some things you need to eat again. I, ca I coach people, eat gluten. Find good wheat. I mean, there's all kinds of shit going on with wheat. And it's been changed and, right, all weird autoimmune stuff and all the rest, right? Okay, well, keep your digestion strong. I mean, at a bare minimum, keep that, you know? So in the face of tremendous anxiety, tremendous world upheaval, learn how to read your symptoms. Learn how to eat according to your symptoms. Learn the diet that's best for you right now at the time that you have it. And then when your symptoms begin to shift or you notice things are different, um, you change your habit accordingly. That's the gig. That's what you're doing. Um, and you do that by understanding... Not just what your symptoms mean and what's causing them, and it's simple, simple, easy to understand language. Also, what foods cause what? What foods are affecting your organs this way or that way? What are those foods? And you put all of that together, and you know how to eat according to your, to your signs and symptoms. Okay? So if you're not a member of the Pivot Protocol, probably a good time to start. If you're watching this, this is your time to start. No doubt about it. Okay? And for all of you who are students and send me emails, I really appreciate it. I do try to answer everything uh, myself personally and get back to you so be mercifully brief and thank you for all for for being students I'm come back and talk to you about some other things i don't know where i'm going to post this yet but thank you